hello guys welcome to this video this is to help her very quickly we're going to be looking at how you can build your own smtp server using power mta and send bulk email power mta it's a platform let me say power mta it's a private server which allows you to host your own smtp server and send unlimited bulk email so how do you set up this power mta server and send your mail what are the requirements you need? The requirement, the first thing you need is to get your domain. And uh, from this place, I said you can get your domain from Namecheap or should get your own from GoDaddy. In this video, I'm going to be using one of my domain, which I got from uh, Namecheap. So we're going to be using Namecheap in this tutorial. And the second thing here is you need a VPS. A VPS is just like an IP with a username and password, which will be given to you. So you can either get your VPS on OVH Cloud, or you should get from Contabo. In this video, I'm using OVH Cloud. There is a full tutorial course which train and guide you from A to Z how to get your VPS, get your domain, and set up this Power MTA SMTP server. So, if you will be interested in getting the full tutorial course, you can check the description below this video or click on the link showing right now to reach us on our DM or on our Telegram. Okay, while we'll get all these things set up ready, let's move straight to the video. Now, after you get your VPS and your domain, you need what we call byte files or a putty. Byte files or putty are just an SSH client in which you can use to run your commands. You know, when you are building your private server, you need to run commands. So, these are the uh, platform that you're going to be using. It is called an SSH client, which you'll be using in running your own command. So, let's drive into this video. This is the device files which we're going to be using. I've already logged in, and this is the IP we're going to use. I log in as root um, and open a new terminal. Okay, once you log in this, what is the first thing you have to do here? Let's do our time setting from here. Then from there, we do our um what's it called? We do our host name, we set up our host name on the server, and we do MX record inside this our uh, VPS, then from there we run our command to install our PowerMT. And mind you, this course is a auto PowerMT installer, which means it's an auto installer. You don't need to be uploading manually. It's going to do the installation automatically. So I'm running this command to do my timing, then I'm going to run for my, for my host name. Like this, and I can say host name. Then I log into my host name. Now you can see I log in as no dots with my dot pro that's my domain so the next thing is that i will open a vim then i'm going to add in my domain with my ip as uh, my name server so from here i'm just going to add my own which is this and uh i will save this okay i'm going to update the server sudo yum update and say yes for this to update so while that is done i'm going to install my dsm dsn so I'm a DNS MQ, so so I can set up my DNS. Okay, that is installed. So I'm going to add my general uh, my public name server in here, which is design safe. And page. So from this, I'm going to, to the end of the page. Then I'm going to put in my name server DNS record for this. Which I've set, which is this, then I'm going to save. Good. Now, I'm going to install PU, then I'm going to install my Power MTA. So, while that is done, I'm going to run just single command, a command, and it's going to automatically install my Power MTA. Let's set the magic, and boom, you can see it's installing our Power MTA Advanced Fashion 7. This is 5.07. You can see it's done the installation is done now so the next thing the license and everything has been inputted in from this command so the next thing for us to do is to log into the power mta we'll go to the folder power mta then we're going to do um our dkim record for this so now i'm already inside the power mta folder and i'm going to do my dkim so i'm going to do this and uh, i'm going to put my dkim which I've already generated here using this. Don't worry, if you get the tutorial course, everything from A to Z will 
we show inside. This is just a demo video. I'm going to save this and okay, good. The key is set. Now I will do the config. I will do my config. Okay. Then I'm going to copy my config file. Okay, so this is my config file. Everything is edited also. You just need to edit it to your user, your domain name and your IP address. Once that is done, you copy them and go back to this place. Paste it here. And let's save it. Good. You can see it's so fast and so easy. Once that is done, it's just time for us to see if our PowerMC is running. If I run a service PMC, start to see if it's running. And you can see it says OK, which means our PowerMC is running. And we are done setting up our PowerMC SMTP server. Next for us is to log into the uh, Power MT monitor to see to the monitor console and see if it's actually working well and do your configuration your DNS record which I've done and let's make a test if our SMTP is working so let's check that go to our Chrome and uh, I'm going to access it by saying okay domain. this is my domain this is 6565 this one will be node o t e dot okay and say enter and boom you can see here is our power mta monitor and you can see you can send from this you can send over 1 million 536 with this particular ip which we just used so let's make a test if our smtp server is working i'm going to be using this software or trial to make our test and i'm going to say you send New sender just like that, then SMTP it will be this. This is our domain, and our port is using 2525. Username is admin, it's me. then my password. I'm going to put it there. Then send from is mail at our domain. Yeah, let's call him sender name initiate developer. And reply to let's reply to this also. Then we can make a test, say send test. I'm going to send test to one of my email. I'm going to open my Gmail account. Okay, I'm going to open this, then go back here and say send test and say send test success. So I'm going to check my mailbox, and you can see here is our let me open this is our message. You can see from here. Can see this is replied to this is sent from this and mind you um inbox are not guaranteed when you are using uh, private servers they are not guaranteed right. sometimes it's good inbox and sometimes it's called spam box what you need to do is to warm up your server you need to warm up your server to get accurate inbox and from here you can see it shows sent one cent one app so that is how you can build your own power mta smtp server if you need a full tutorial course on how to build this smtp server kindly check the description in this video or you click on the link right from this video you are seeing now and get in touch with us if this is your first time of watching this video don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'm going to see you in the next one bye for now